get ready with me to celebrate my actual birthday. My skin looks dead, so I'm gonna start off with a toner. This will immediately wake my skin up. I honestly don't even know what to do on my birthday, so we're just gonna go out for dinner. And we're just gonna go to this rotating restaurant in Cincinnati. And using this toner, we'll get rid of all the unwanted oils and dirt. So it's like cleansing my skin one last time before applying any products. And I'm just gonna do this peptide lip treatment real quick to moisturize my lips. I like to start with my brows first. This is from e.l.f. It's called Brow Lift. And I'm just gonna be using this dental brush thingy and just brush my brows upwards. If you have stubborn eyebrows, you have to try this method. I feel like it's gonna work because it works on me. I have very thick, stubborn, eyebrows. I like doing the brows first because I realize it gives you the most grip without having any products on your skin. This will make your brow products stay in place. Moving on to my face base, I love using this Tatcha water cream. This is perfect for combination skin or if you have oily skin. It is a gel-based formula. As you can see, it's very, very lightweight. It gives you the right amount of moisture without being greasy. So if you don't like that greasy feeling on your skin, this is definitely a must in your skincare routine. Got to make sure you take care of the neck as well it feels so hydrating and very lightweight this is my favorite foundation it's from kvd beauty but i don't feel like wearing foundation today i want something lightweight so i'm just going to use like a tinted moisturizer this is my current favorite tinted moisturizer from dermatology this has spf 45 as well so if you want something lightweight i highly recommend tinted moisturizers it's so comfortable in the skin it feels like a moisturizer it's not sticky this is the e.l.f. Skin Woe Glow Sun Protection and Makeup Primer and it's also tinted. I'm gonna go with Sunbeam, which is the original shade. E.l.f. always has cool products and I love it. My base is done, we're gonna move on to concealers and you guys know this is my current favorite concealer. This is from Tower 28 and I'm using both shades because why not? This is for light medium and I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. It is medium to full coverage, definitely buildable. I love this product. I still think this is the concealer of the year. And then to brighten up my under eye and T-zone area, I like to use a lighter shade. This is in the shade DTLA. So for your under eye and T-zone area, always use a lighter shade. I've seen some people using darker shade on their under eye. I mean, it's really up to you how you do your makeup, but if you want your eyes to look brighter, your face to look brighter, definitely go for shade lighter. This product just blends everything out so seamlessly. I love it. I forgot to use gripping primer. These two are actually my favorite gripping primer. This is perfect for summer, very, very lightweight. But if you want that extra grip, definitely recommend this one. Moving on to contour, this is my favorite contour product from Fenty Beauty, it's the shade Amber. But I recently just found this product, which is actually like a dupe. It's a UK brand called Pink Honey. And this shade is just perfection. Let me show you. This is Fenty in the shade Amber. Pink Honey in the shade S'mores and Kisses. Like, look at that. This is the most cool tone contour product that you can find in the market. The thing is, here in the United States, I struggle to find cool tone contour products because it's usually like super warm and their cool tone is like too light for my skin. Amber from Fenty Beauty is actually perfect for my skin. A lot of contour products here like Sephora, Ulta, you'll see that cool tone is for like super light skin tone. But what if you have darker skin tone and you want that cool tone contour to give you that snatched look, right? You don't really have that option. But yeah, if you're looking for a cool tone contour, different varieties of shade, light skin tone, medium skin tone, darker skin tone, highly recommend pink honey called contour cake i got so excited when i found it i'm like oh my god the search is finally over i just wanted to share with you that in case you are looking for a cool toned contour oh my god look at that it looks so natural i actually got two shades this is the s'mores and kisses and this is the shortbread sugar so let me show you such amazing product, highly, highly recommend. Liquid blush, I'm gonna be using Rare Beauty in the shade Love. It's so pigmented, I love it, just a little dot. Leo goes a long way with Rare Beauty liquid blushes. I'm gonna set my face with One Size Beauty Ultimate Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. Just gonna grab a little bit of product. Then just set my under eye. There's so many mixed reviews on this product, but I love it. And then my T-zone area. I'm just gonna set my entire face, because why not? A little bit on the neck as well. Then I'm gonna set my makeup in place with Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. 
Moving on to my eyes, I'm gonna be using Patrick Ta's eyeshadow palette. I love this palette so much. It has warm and cool tones. It's just perfect. I actually like to mix both warm and cool tone. They're so pigmented, easy to blend, perfect for everyday look, day look, night look, you name it, smoky eye look. This is the only eyeshadow palette you'll ever need on a daily basis. I'm gonna be using this one and this one together. I apply it here to give it like a little wing. And at the same time, I also like adding tiny bit of product as well. And then I'm just going to be using the same brush that I used earlier and then just blend that out. I like to do this to add a little bit of dimension to my eyes. I used to struggle doing my makeup because I couldn't really find any decent makeup tutorials because I have monolids. You know, I just learn as I go. I finally mastered it. <laughs> If you like this look, you can stop right there, but I like to add a little bit of shimmers. I'm using the, I call it Kaha, but someone says it's Kaja. I don't know. Just grab a little bit of that shimmer. Just apply it on my eyelid, just right in the middle. That is so pretty. For the eyeliner, I love this Red Beauty eyeliner. It's so thin, it's so smooth, it's so easy to apply. See that? I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back. I cannot be distracted when I do my eyeliner. Moving on to lashes, I love these two mascara. This is from Rare Beauty and this is from Oma Beauty. I love both of them. I like to use Rare Beauty first and then top it off with Oma Beauty. I have monolid eyes, so that means my lashes tend to grow straight down and that is why I perm my lashes once a month. Okay, so this is before, this is after. Love it. Today is chill day. I just want to feel relaxed. So I'm not going to apply any false lashes. I'm just going to leave my lashes as it is. And we're going to move on to blush. I'm going to go in with this Makeup by Mario Powder Blush. This is in the shade Desert Rose. Very beautiful shade. It's so subtle. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't supposed to get the shade. I was supposed to get the coral shade. But I don't know. For some reason, I got the wrong product. And I end up loving it. For the highlighter, this is from Peri Para. I love this one so much. This product came with a brush, actually. Look at that. It's so blinding. A little bit on my nose. Cupid's bow. And a little bit in the inner corner of my eye. Make my eyes look bigger. I am not considering any eyelid surgery. The problem with double eyelid surgery is it's irreversible you know you cannot reverse what you did if you didn't like it you ain't got no choice but to deal with it and then i'm just gonna remove my lip oil and i'm gonna be using rare beauty tinted lip oil in the shade happy such a beautiful color i don't know what to do with my hair but i'm just gonna leave it like that i don't care and this is your final look 